And good morning YouTube. So this is the MT50 remote display that's connected to my 40 amp EP solar or EP ever charge controller. So I've had a number of questions from viewers on how do you work with the device password here? How do you enter it? How do you change it? What is it? The main screens here you can do anything you want. There's no password involved. You're only viewing the different screens but if you hit the escape key here and you come down to one of the places where you can make changes for instance control parameters that's where you set your charge voltage reconnect and disconnect voltages all of that and again you can scroll through all these screens no password needed and you can hit escape to get out of there but if you come down here to the bottom number seven device PSW that's where your device password is saved and set and so that's the device password prompt there's your original password and of course it's hidden from you you don't know what it is and there's where you can set your new password so let's just say okay now you have to enter your original password and anytime you need to input a password, it'll say input password. It'll show you the password entry field. And it's just sitting there. It's got the first digit highlighted and then a bunch of zeros. That's your default password. Six zeros is the default. So you have to enter the password before you can change the password. So you would go here and hit OK. And then now, here's the original password. It's already there but I might want to change the password since this is device number one maybe I want to make the password one and five zeros it just takes one button click to go from zero to one if I made this like one two three four five six I would have to go over here click up one two go over here one two three so you can see if you make the password really complicated it's going to be hard to enter. I would just stick with something like that. I think I'll just go back with the default here just so I don't have to remember. You would click OK and then it says do you want to save that change and then it says success and then you hit escape to get back. That's where you can change the password but here let's say we want to change some of the charging voltages so I come down here to 4 control parameters. I click OK to go into that menu and let's say I want to change my battery amp hours. Well I can't do anything here. It lets me view the parameters but I can't change anything. If you hit OK now it says input password and then there's your password prompt. And if you haven't changed it from the default just hit OK and now you've got a prompt if you go up and down you can change your battery type and if you go left or right you can go to the next parameter so if I wanted to add 30 I would add 30 right there and then when you click OK it says do you want to save that change there's your save success escape to get out and then you can hit escape and it'll go to the top and back to your monitoring screen so anyway that's how you work with the passwords on these so if you haven't changed the password, the default is six zeros, and that's what's displayed. Hit the OK button, and you're logged in. If you do want to change the password, number one, remember it. Write it down someplace, you know, in your user's manual or someplace that it's not going to get lost. And then number two, if you're going to change your password, I wouldn't make it very complicated because you've got to click up and down and left and right arrows to enter it. Every time you want to make a change, you're going to have to enter that really complicated password. And there's no password manager on here to automatically fill it in. You've got to go up, 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 right, right, up, 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 right, up, right. It's pretty tedious, so I would keep the password pretty simple. You know, maybe do 100,000, 200,000. Like, for instance, this is controller number one. So if you go down here to the bottom, this uh, device parameters, 
that shows you your device ID. So this is controller number one. If I had a second controller, I would call the second controller number two. And on device number one, I would make the password 100,000. Yeah, there's the factory reset. Uh, number nine, factory reset. So that's probably how you can reset back to the default password of six zeros if you forget. But it's going to reset everything, all the charging parameters. So if you have to go here, write down all the parameters that you've changed because it's going to forget everything when you go here. Use that one with caution, you know, make sure you've got a backup of all your parameters. Even with the default password, it's hard to figure out how to gain access to the controller. It is not obvious. So anyway, that's why I made this video to show you how to enter the password, how to change the password, how to change it back. So that's all the parameters that are in there related to password. If you need to enter it, it will prompt you for it. I think that's where people get confused. They, they expect to enter the password and then change something, but it's the other way around. You've got to try to change something and then it will prompt for the password. So I've made some videos on changing the time and date and also changing some of the charge parameters. I'll put those videos over on the left side. If you have any other questions, post up in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching.